Hi guys, I am here with another Bleepo kind of haul Japanese candy tasting thing. I don't know if it's Japanese actually, I should probably just say Asian, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's Japanese but I don't know. I say another because I've already done a video like this over on my joint channel with my boyfriend Joe um, over on Ninjenjo so I'll link that if you'd like to see that one. Um, but yeah, I got some stuff today and they're not all sweets so I'm calling it like a general haul and tasting. So yeah, I actually forgot about it and it took a while to arrive. Um, but yeah, so in it I have some little bits and bobs. Again, I think I got these during a sale, so the sale's probably not going on anymore. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if there's going to be an invoice in here, so I, I also don't know what exactly what is because I can't read this language, so please bear with me if I say anything silly or I'm confused or something. Um, if I can, I'll try and link the stuff that I did order. So this is the little um, card thing that they've got. It just says Bleepo and it says you are so cute that we included a small gift with your order. Hopefully you'll like it. Oh that's nice. Oh I wonder what that was because I really can't remember exactly what I ordered. Um, but anyway I think I'm just going to dive in and try some of this stuff. So this is the first thing I see. I think these were these little cola sweets um, that I wanted to try. So I'm just going to give these a little go. Oh my god, I'm just going to have so much sweets just like opened on my bed. <laughs> oh, they're not what I expected. I kind of thought, like I completely ignored that picture and kind of thought they'd be cola design like on the front, but they look like this. I think they're just going to have that weird, not nougaty, but that weird soft centre inside. Oh, it's harder than I thought. This is good. It's kind of soury. It tastes like um those Malwams uh, pinball sweets. It's like those, pretty much. Um, if I remember, I'll try to give ratings as I go along for like, the sweet stuff. I'd probably give this like a three, just because cola's not really <coughs> <coughs> sorry, cola's not really my favourite flavour, and it is quite sharp, but I still like it and I like the texture and stuff, so these cola sweets they get a three <laughs> next thing here is my collage photo decoration seal so these are basically little um decoration things for like scrapbooks and like i don't know photo albums and stuff and this is how you can sort of decorate it you just stick them on the end of um the pictures or however you'd like but um yeah i think that's what they're designed to do so they're pretty cute also, this box has come a little bit mashed up, like I've got a picture to show you just how battered it was. It's more battered on the top, but I can't really show you that because it's got my um, address and stuff. But, I mean, nothing seems to be damaged. Things do look a bit crushed, but I don't think I ordered anything delicate really, so that's not really a problem. Um, I do have this thing where it looks like you should make it, so I might do that later. I might save it for another video, so I'll put that to the side for a second. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is that guy. This is, I think, some crisps. Now, I'm a bit funny because if there's pork flavour, uh, I won't be happy because I don't eat pork, but um, uh, I don't know, I'll probably still eat it. They look like this and they all say caramel corn, but I'm not too sure how because they all look different. But they've all got like little different um, designs on the back. I'll probably try one now like open a packet now and um, maybe tell you my thoughts on the others in this video maybe not I don't know I'll just try this little red one I think they're crisp they kind of look like boxes oh so this is what it looks like kind of odd looking they're like sweet what's it they kind of taste cheesy but but sweet yeah, definitely caramelly. Hmm. I hope the others like this because this is nice, but why well, have they got different designs on the front? I don't know. That would indicate different flavours to me because different colours as well. Hmm. I'd give this a four. This is nice. I like it. It's kind of odd though because it was a cheesy and sweet balance. It's odd. Really disturbing. But I like it. Next thing here is something I've tried before because it's Pocky. But this is the Hello Kitty Pink Pocky and it's got a cute little comic book strip at the back which I wish I could read but I can't. Let's see if I can decipher it. It looks like kitties in the kitchen 
and she's washing up for her mum and her grandmum and she's put too much bubbles in the sink and it's kind of gone up in her face that's cute but yeah I wish I knew what they were saying <laughs> I'll just try one of these because you know I've, tried, I've had one before ah oh, it's a broken one but yeah it's just got the little pink sugary chocolatey stuff at the bottom and it's strawberry flavour and it's nice and I like it and I'll probably give it a five star. I'm having another one. <laughs> so then there's these. I think they're chocolate. Um, they're milky by Fujia. I'm not too sure. They've just got like this plastic outer coating on them. So I'll take that off. Snap in my nail in the process. It's actually a really cute box. I like that. The little girl looks adorable but kind of creepy as well. And this is what it looks like on the back. There's kind of loads of different colours. Um, wrapping of sweeties in here and I picked out this kind of orange and green one I thought it was going to be chocolate I might be wrong because of the wrapper um, let's see oh it's a bit sticky so this is the wrapper like all stretched out it's got the little girl's face on it and it says milky sure if I like this that much because it's a cherry sweet which I wasn't expecting I was expecting like milk chocolate or something but it's got that weird milky taste to it it almost if I think about it too much it tastes like sick but if I don't think about it too much it tastes quite all right I just think it doesn't work really with the texture um hmm I think I could potentially like these but it's just odd texture flavor combination so I'd probably give this like right now a 1.5 star again they've got different colour wrappings so I don't know if they're all going to taste like this but I thought it would because of the milky name I don't know hmm odd product <laughs> oh and then I got this really cool sweetie bracelet that looks absolutely adorable it's kind of like pastely cubes I don't I don't know why it's so sweet it does it's not really sweet it's just like a cubey thing <laughs> I think it's cute I like that I'm gonna wear that that's adorable I'm happy I got this really cute and then oh I've got this long sweet it reminds me the feel of it of like um that rainbow bacon stuff um this is sour paper um it's gonna be like sugar paper then hmm it feels gritty inside i really like the packaging it's really like bright and colorful and green i think this might be apple flavor because of the little character and all the green so let's try it oh yeah it's sour paper gummy candy so it might not have the texture of paper it might be more chewy yeah this is definitely more the texture of um rainbow bacon Yes, this is luminous and I should probably not be eating it, but hell to it, I say, hell to it. This is nice. It's got a really nice flavour. It's not very soury like the um, cola thing was, but it's kind of sour. It's just, it's not too bad. Like, it hasn't taken me by surprise and it's not something that I could easily choke on. Because sour and gritty things like that usually make me choke, but this is alright. And I like the flavour. And yes, it's very nice. I enjoy this. Five stars. <laughs> then I've got this fish looking thing. There's some pictures on the back. Um, I think it's a little DIY thing. But I don't think there's much effort in this. So I'll probably try it out now. Um, it looks like you have to put this white thing inside this yellow thing to make this fish. <laughs> so let's see how this looks. It smells good. It kind of smells like mango and chemicals. <laughs> this is what it looks like inside. So I'm just gonna get one of these things out. I'm not quite sure really what I'm supposed to get out. Okay, so do I actually I push this inside? Oh, it's all like <laughs> maybe I'm not supposed to do anything. It's all like breaking up. I'm just gonna eat these as they are. And they are good. Um. I mean, they're not extremely flavoursome, but yeah, there's enough flavour there. I like these. They're a little bit odd, and I don't see how they work as a DIY. It looks like it's supposed to be a DIY candy thing, but it doesn't seem that awesome as that. It just tastes nice as a candy, so I'd probably give it like a 3.5 stars. It just, mm, yeah, it's softer than like Haribo sweets, um, 
and I think a little bit less flavoursome too if you want something for reference. I don't know. But yeah, I'd give this a 3.5 stars. And then lastly, I guess I might as well try it. Um, I don't really know what this is. <laughs> I really don't know what this is at all. It's got instructions at the back. Um, I think you're supposed to cook it. Are you actually supposed to cook it? Oh. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think you're supposed to cook these. <laughs> So I guess I'm not going to try this, but if I try this by the time this is uploaded, or maybe if I remember to edit the description, I'll let you know what I think. But it looks like this, so can anybody tell me what exactly this is? Yeah, I've also got some little stuff at the end. Another card just, just says they've added a um, another little order thing, another little gift in there. I've also got, as usual, um, an advertisement for their, their box, the Kawaii box, um, which you can get 10 to 12 hand-picked Kawaii items delivered to your doorstep starting from £17.30 per month and it says on the back and then there's um, kawaiidistribution.com which is worldwide shipping and no minimum order perfect for resellers, gift bags or as prizes and presents Japanese candy, cute accessories and kawaii gifts at wholesale prices I think this is just another kind of bleepo thing maybe this is like a sister company but it's nice and colourful and then there's a bleepo thank you like last time and it says um, share your purchases and win a shopping cart spray. So I'll probably share this on Instagram. And then lastly, the Japan Candy Box, monthly Japanese candy subscription box. Just another advertisement. This one you will receive a box full of quirky Japanese sweets and snacks delivered to your doorstep every month. And this is some of the stuff that you can get inside. But that is all for my Lipo unboxing, tasting, haul thing. Hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think of this company and if you've ordered from them and also some of the sweets and stuff that I got. What are they? Do you like them? What should I try next? Thank you very much and I shall speak to you next time. Bye.